Hello everyone, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back around the cauldron. Um, welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. Today I want to talk about my experiences, my personal experiences, with reading oracle cards. So for a little background, I have been reading tarot off and on since I was about 19 years old. For reference, that's a, just a little more than 10 years. Um, and I never really wanted to switch to reading oracle cards or even read them both together. Over the course of the last several years, um, with some other issues that are going on, my memory for holding on to tarot card meanings has been slowly declining. And this is actually one of the reasons that I stopped reading tarot for the public, why, why I stopped offering tarot readings in general. Because if I can no longer connect with the cards, if I can no longer remember the, the symbolism and the meanings behind the cards, then it would be disingenuous of me to continue to offer readings if I have to look up meanings of symbols in the cards in general. And there, there are times when I can read intuitively, but for me personally, it just, it doesn't work anymore. And I have honestly lost some personal interest with reading tarot and that can contribute probably to some of the things going on with um, the meanings of the cards and just really not being excited about reading tarot anymore. And this happens. I know I'm not the only person that this has happened to where they read tarot and they're just like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't like it. I'm not interested in it or it's just not working for me anymore. But it was really difficult for me to admit that to myself because I'm like, yeah, I read tarot. I'm a tarot reader. And it's one of my biggest methods of divination in my own personal practice. But with not feeling connected to the cards anymore, I just couldn't do it anymore. I had to stop and I had to be true to myself and really listen to what my body and my intuition was telling me. And at this point it was just like, tarot is not for you right now and that's okay. However, I still like to use cards for divination. So I switched to reading oracle cards. I used to be the kind of person that sort of shunned oracle cards because I didn't really like their methodology. There's no general rules. There's no structure. You can have an oracle deck with 10 cards and you can have an oracle deck with 100 cards. It really doesn't matter and it just depends on the deck you have. And that just wasn't for me for the longest time. However, I recently got an oracle deck called Spirits and Shadows and this deck has just blossomed with me and my own intuition and I have really been able to tell a difference in my own readings as well as readings that I do for other people with these oracle cards and it's really helped me tap back into that intuition and the connection I have with divination so much more. Um, did that sentence even make sense? I don't know if it made sense. Um, but the connection with my own intuition and my divination practices is back because of this oracle deck. Now, I'm not sure if it's just this oracle deck in particular or if it's just because I switched to an oracle deck. Um, it could also have to do with the fact that I'm also trying to learn a completely different style of divination because I'm learning how to read OM for divination. Um, if you don't know what OM is, I have a video for that. Uh, I will link it up here and I'll leave it in the description below. Uh, but yes. So in thinking about my experiences moving from tarot to oracle, tarot has a structure. Tarot has a very specific structure and very specific symbolism and a story that goes along with the cards. And I thrived on that for a really long time. 
Uh, I am a person that likes structure and routine and for things to have rules and reasons why things work. And I feel like getting stuck in just reading tarot based on the symbols and the traditional meanings of the cards really stagnated my in, my growth with my intuition because I was constantly like, okay, this card means this. How does this apply to this situation? And while I never really got any feedback from others that my readings were inaccurate, uh, it did sort of lead to me being stuck. And I think that's why I'm really enjoying Oracle cards right now because while for, for this particular deck, while this deck of oracle cards does have a word on it and an image that goes along with that word, it's very much intuitive. I have done readings, um, just simple single card pulls for a community that I manage, uh, that I help manage, not that I manage it in general. Um, but I have done readings there where people have asked different questions, different people have asked different questions, and I shuffle the deck and I pull the same card. But I rely more on my intuition and the messages that I get immediately pulling the card rather than scouring the card for symbolisms and for symbolism, oh my goodness, and trying to remember what a specific card means. It's very much an intuitive practice reading with these oracle cards and I'm just really enjoying it and I'm not sure you know it could be because it's new it's new to me um it could be because I really connect with the artwork in this particular deck but I am also enjoying so much being more connected to myself and more connected with my intuition and I guess that's the short blip <laughs> of um, my experiences moving from tarot to oracle. I haven't felt like my readings have been inaccurate or incorrect. The readings that I have done with other people with this oracle deck have been accurate as far as they have told me. Um, I haven't had anybody come back and say, no, you're absolutely wrong and you completely missed the mark on what it is I was asking. So that's a good sign. But yeah, I think for the foreseeable future, I'm probably going to stick to the Oracle deck. I might look for more. I have even thrown around the idea of creating my own Oracle deck based on um, like stock images and random words. But I don't know if that's actually something I'm going to keep doing. But yeah, I, I'm not sure where I see myself reading tarot in the future. I do have tarot decks. I didn't get rid of any of my decks. Um, I have experimented with combining tarot and oracle to help me better connect with my intuition before digging into symbols of cards that have structure and rules. Um, that's been an interesting experiment for myself and I'll probably keep doing that as well. But yeah, so that's that's pretty much the short version of my experience switching from tarot to oracle and I'm gonna show you the deck that I'm talking about and I think that you, you I think you're gonna like it <laughs> and if you follow my community tab here on YouTube if you can see it I know for some reason not everyone can see it but um, for the last several weeks this is the deck that I have been using for the Monday message that I do here on YouTube where I pull a single card and give a sort of collective reading, a collective message for anyone that might need to hear it. So without further ado, this is the Spirits and Shadows Oracle deck. This particular deck was created by two people, an artist named Jay Edward and someone else named Heather Neal. Uh, as far as I know, the artist is Jay Edward and they created all of the images, the, the artwork, and Heather Neal put together the words, the concept for the card, as well as the different sort of keywords and meanings behind the card. This particular Oracle deck has 52 cards and they are in no particular order. From the website for Spirits and Shadows, it says this. 
Herein you'll find spirits of nature, images of hope and light, and even shadows which you will master and overcome. So I hope you enjoy this flip through of Spirits and Shadows. I will leave a link to the deck in the description below. It is available only on Etsy. And um, if you're interested, go ahead and check them out and give some support to some indie artists that are creating some amazing artwork in our communities. Thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments below if you have any experience with tarot or oracle or switching back and forth between the two. If you're looking for a community to hang out with, feel free to join my Discord server. The link for that will be in the description below and I will see you next time. Bye.